Hey guys, what's up? It's been almost two years since the last PS1 video I did and now I'm back with the PlayStation 2 and its 25 best-selling JRPGs worldwide. Number 25 is Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. Unlike Duelist of the Roses, which is merely a strategy game that you can beat in a few hours, this one is a grid-based strategy RPG where you summon monsters right out of your cards. Now, I don't know if this game belongs in the 25th place because it sold 440,000 copies worldwide, except in Japan. I couldn't find the numbers for the Japanese sales, but I imagine it sold a lot over there as well, so it may or may not belong in a lower place in this list. If you know how much it sold in Japan, let people know in the comments. Number 24, Monster Hunter. I was honestly expecting a little bit more from Capcom's first game in this millionaire series, but I guess half a million copies sold worldwide is enough for their prototype game. There was a second game also on PS2, but we never got it until its PSP release. It didn't sell that much in Japan either anyway. Number 23, Tales of Destiny. That's right, the PS2 version. For this game, I'm counting both versions of it. The regular, which was an upgraded port of the PS1 release, and the director's cut, which was fan-translated recently. Neither game has ever come out of Japan yet, but alone in there, both releases sold 537,000 copies combined. Number 22, Odin's Fear. I'm happy this game made it to the list, because initially it didn't sell very well, but after its localization, things drastically changed. It even merited its own greatest hits version, and combined with the Black Label release, Odin Sphere sold 560,000 copies worldwide. Awesome! Number 21, Full Metal Alchemist and the Broken Angel. The sequel, which was a much better game in my opinion, almost made it to the list, but the first one sold more, especially in Japan of course, despite not being that great of a game, it sold a little bit over 560,000 copies, which barely places it above Odin Sphere. A third game was released, but only in Japan and with much lower numbers than its predecessors. Number 20, Romancing Saga. Of course, there had to be a Saga game in the list, especially since we're talking about Square Enix. It sold 580,000 copies, but 80% of those numbers come straight from Japan. This is a remake of the very first Romancing Saga game we never got on the SNES. It's pretty much a hidden gem over here, so I'm glad it made it to the list, if at least thanks to its Japanese sales. Number 19, Tales of Rebirth. Another exclusive to Japan, sadly, but in there alone, this Tales game sold 605,000 copies. If only it had been localized, I believe it will probably have been closer to 1 million. Not even a full fan translation of this game out there, so it's 2022 and most of us still can't play it in English. Number 18, Wild Arms 3. I recently made a Wild Arms video where I found out Wild Arms 2 and 3 shared similar sales numbers. They're big, but Sony was expecting more for whatever reason. Truth is though, every Wild Arms game sold less than the first one, which eventually led to the death of the series. This one sold 620,000 copies worldwide, which is a great number, but Sony obviously doesn't agree. Number 17, Radiata Stories. 
I'm so happy to say that this excellent game, one of my favorite action RPGs ever, sold 650,000 copies around the globe. It shouldn't be that surprising considering it was published by Square Enix, right? But as a PS2 exclusive and being such a forgotten game nowadays, it's honestly hard to believe, but it's true! Number 16, Drakengard. Drakengard surpassed Radiata Stories just barely with also 650,000 copies sold. What a waste since Radiata Stories is a much better game. This isn't a bad action RPG though, it's just kinda lame in controls and combat, but its story alone makes me respect it enough to say it probably deserved those numbers. Number 16, Suikoden 4. The black sheep in the Suikoden family, believe it or not, it sold 660,000 copies in this planet. You know me, I'm a fan of the series and I really enjoy this game. You probably think it didn't deserve to sell that well, but that's just like your opinion, man. Number 14. Dot hack mutation. I know these games are kind of forgotten nowadays, and honestly, in terms of gameplay, they aren't that great, but they were a huge deal in North America. Yes, over here, they were more popular than in Japan and sold more. This second volume sold 680,000 copies in the world, which is far more than, sadly, any of the three GU games in the series. Those games, I think, they are far superior to the original four. But that's just, like, my opinion, man. Number 13, Valkyrie Profile 2, Silmeria. This is my favorite PS2 JRPG and therefore I wish it could have been higher on the list. It also got a Greatest Hits version outside of Japan and combined, the releases made a total of 730,000 copies. Oh yeah, just a little bit more than the original on the PS1. Number 12, Tales of the Abyss. Only 4,000 copies made Abyss surpass Sealed Maria in both Japan and North America. This game was not released in Europe until its port to the 3DS. I think European sales would have helped it to be ranked higher on the list, but not that much to be honest. Number 11, Unlimited Saga! You're not seeing things! One of the worst JRPGs on the PS2 is number 11 in this list. I told you the Saga games have always been mega huge in Japan. It sold 560,000 units over there, combined with the rest of the world, 770,000 copies. Poor souls most of those buyers. I don't think this game is that bad, but yeah, it isn't good either. One of the first times Squaresoft disappointed their fans. Number 10, Persona 4. This overly popular and successful RPG sold 820,000 copies worldwide, and I'm talking about strong sales on every region, which is interesting because at first it didn't sell that much. Word of mouth made it popular enough to get back on its feet though, which is a good thing for a game like this, right? Number 9, Rogue Galaxy. Huge and ambitious project almost on the same level as The Legend of Dragoon, Level 5 developed this one and it went on to sell 840,000 copies worldwide, including its director's cut release only in Japan. Now I understand why this game is more popular than I gave it credit for. Number 8, Dark Cloud 2. Another one by Level 5. Outside of Japan, this one and others you've seen so far didn't get Greatest Hits versions. I'm not sure why, but they sure sold a hell of a lot, didn't they? This action RPG got 960,000 copies distributed around the world. Almost a million. No, the majority did not come from Japan. It just sold very well in most regions, that's all. Number 7, Tales of Destiny 2. Another Japanese exclusive! 
This one got away only in Japan with 977,000 copies. Yeah, Destiny was a hugely popular game over there that it got ports, director's cut versions and sequels. It baffles me how neither of them got on release anywhere else. Number 6, Suikoden 3. As a Suikoden fan and proud defender of this third entry, I couldn't be happier. I'm pretty sure it's already surpassed 1 million sales if we count its PS3 digital re-release, but original PS2 physical version sold 980,000 copies everywhere, almost 4 in Japan, almost 3 in North America and over 2 in Europe. It just goes to show how beloved was the Suikoden series around the world. Number 5, Sino Saga Episode 1. This shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, I think most people know it sold 1 million units when Namco themselves announced it back then. Its sequel sold nowhere near as good, of course, which carved the way to the trilogy's demise in popularity. Well, at least the first game made it to mainstream success, right? Number 4, Dot Hack Infection. Surprised, aren't you? I've been telling you for years this series used to be very popular back in the day. I've seen people treating them as if they were hidden gems. How the hell does a hidden gem sell 1,270,000 copies worldwide? That's why I think of this as a forgotten gem, but hidden? No way. However, this info might be inaccurate. I got those numbers from VG Charts, but if you visit the list of best-selling PS2 games on Wikipedia, it isn't there. Number 3, Persona 3. Original Persona 3 sold 660,000 copies in all regions. Then the FES version, the enhanced port with the sequel included, sold 630,000 copies. Remember, these numbers are according to VG Charts and Wikipedia, but mostly on VG Charts. So combined, my favorite Persona game sold 1,290,000 copies on this godforsaken planet. How cool is that, huh? Now you know why this game was so influential. Number 2, Dark Cloud. I knew you'd be shocked to see this one in second place. Well, oh, most of you anyway. Yeah, that little game on the PS2, which also got a greatest hits version by the way, sold like crazy. We're talking about 1,540,000 copies, half of them pretty much coming from North America. It's crazy the initial support RPGs had on the PS2 overseas, all thanks to Sony themselves. For a game like this to be that successful, it's almost unbelievable. But yeah, Dark Cloud is number two. Number one, Star Ocean till the end of time. Published by Square Enix, so you shouldn't be surprised a game of theirs got number one. Original version sold nearly 1.4 million copies, but if we add its greatest hits release and its director's cut re-release, all physically available worldwide, numbers add up to 1,884,000 copies sold around the world. As much as I wish other PS2 JRPGs could be number one instead of this one, I can't complain since this is an excellent action RPG on the PlayStation 2. So that's it guys, now as promised I'll show you the numbers of Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest and Kingdom Hearts. Here you go!